Ukraine. Have respect, man. You know, you must lock him out when you're here in front of police, man. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been running rubber to the old car? I tell you, it's only to help out the school as officer. And driving like a lunatic to the people in the residential area? Well, time catch up with you. It's my first offense. You must can apply a little leniency. It might be the first time you get caught in the act. But it's a long time the residents of Smoky Park been complaining to us about you. Know. You and this old Anglo, you flash through the era several times a day at top speed like you's Mad Max. Eh? Demolishing, crippling, and maiming anything that bears the slightest resemblance to a dog. <laughs> it's not my fault if the dog run under the car or something. Dog. Is dog, you say? Singular? The dogs. Twelve. One dozen dogs you lit down in a one week. Two of them fatal. The dog then stand up on the sidewalk. And as they see me coming, then it's run under the car. So it's frame them trying to frame me. <laughs> Stop that foolishness, man. So why them don't run off on nobody else carrying out the area about mines? Because no other car in the area don't make as much noise as your one. The back bumper drop on the ground. The brakes are squeak. The engine are backfire. And the muffler smoke like it's a train. The dog them behave like them glad for see me. <laughs> I feel running up and down and barking them going with when them see me and come. So if you was a dog, you wouldn't glad to see a car like that in your area. Hmm? <laughs> and if you're a dog, a car like yours driving up is like a circus coming to town. This is not justice. This is not fear. I should not be put to them indignances here just for killing one little dog. Two. One dog and a puppy. I hand you ten. Dogs must stay at them yard. Cars pay license to be on the road. My car is licensed. As a private motor car. Not as a public passenger vehicle. You never know I've been trailing you all week. From your injury the first dog. You know, it don't make no sense to do good in this society, you know. Here I am trying to help out the schoolers them from up a coffee ridge. Just because no minivan no go up there. And you see? You see? <laughs> And I have a sneaking suspicion you was drunk too. No! You don't have no proof of that. And you can't harass me for licking down one little dog. Hmm. Where is me human rights? You're lucky it was not picking your lick down. Or else you'd be facing a manslaughter charge today. But after children don't run down caramba. <laughs> but them sometimes run across the road sudden though. Well, children are taller. I could see them when they running across the road. Sometimes I don't even see the dog then. No! Because you're driving under the influence of alcohol and your reflexes and your senses dulled. I had only drank in one beer. <laughs> My senses were sharp and I was very reflexive. Ooh. So why are you lit down the dog them then? That's destiny. Feed them number player. <laughs> That's bigger than me and you. Listen, man. It's not no ordinary like a mongrel dog you lit down in them. Look. I've been keeping a check on the quality dog them we attack. Three rich bucks, four all stations, three poodles, two dobermen, <laughs> and one mixed breed. Expensive dogs. So where are you going to charge me for? Dog slaughter. <laughs> you wouldn't understand how close some of them people is to them dogs, you know. The dog is like a part of them family. But you're going on like, say, the dog them have more human rights than me. You know what Mrs. Goodwill said to me? Who is Mrs. Goodwill? The one of the first dog you let down. What she say? She said the little puppy was like a grandchild to her, man. Well, tell her say she must teach her grand dog <laughs> to cross road at pedestrian crossing. <laughs> Are you behaving like this thing is all a big joke? Eh? Hmm? You know have a good man dash you know one them sail around and dash wakey? Uh, That's probably Mrs. Good will call him now. Uh, if I don't think we're playing yet. Hello? Uh, yes, Mrs. Goodwill. Uh, yes, we have our parent in a suspect. And we have him on interrogation now. Uh, bearded? Yes. Black? Yes. Y yes, that's the one. Oh, no. No, no ma'am, you won't be getting away scotch free this time. Yes? 
Yes, I'll try. Uh, this evening, seven o'clock. Yes, I understand how close you are to Fifi. This is <laughs> yes, I'll try to attend the funeral. Bye. So you're going to Fifi funeral? None of your business. Your problem now is to answer to all these charges you're going to face in court. Charges? Has the vehicle been passed? Officer, you must be joking. Even bicycle pass me upon the road. I drive very slow and careful. He's a comedian. Hmm? He's a comedian? I mean, what is the date on the last vehicle fitness survey ticket? All right. As a man in comes, I go look about the fitness survey ticket. Oh, you're crazy. How are you going to get that defective vehicle passed? It is in very good working condition for a 1952 car. <laughs> well, I know so the hand not working so consistent. But That's the least of your problems. The amount of knives that hold broke make on the road, I show you do have no use for the hand. And the brakes not working. Of course the brakes working. Well, you have to pump it up a few times, but it hold firm, firm. Mm -hmm. The hand brake not working neither. Of course it working. The cable under the steering. They just dry it out and tighten on the window winder. It work good, good. If you park on the flat, I have two six inch brick if you catch the car when I park on an incline. The car do have no steering. They know we to the drive. So you don't know neither? You know that was the same question that was puzzling me. Hmm? The steering wheel is like a ferris wheel. It spins about four times in your hand before it starts turning the wheel. It's power steering. What's <laughs> your foolishness? When that car make gasoline, it barely invent much as power steering. What about the indicator them? Them don't work. Of course them work. All you have to do is to thump the steering two times to go right, three times to go left, and you pull up the lever to go straight. And on top of all of that now, you don't have a permit for operator taxi. Then that's how we make really close, Slim. That's always the favorite excuse of breaking the line. <laughs> Little hustling. All right, officer. Tomorrow morning, first thing I'm going to go look about my PPV license. <laughs> There's no guarantee that when you wake a man in you're going to see daylight, you know. Is what you mean? <laughs> Seems like you're going to be with us here for a little while, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, officer, <laughs> you know if it makes me run serious jokey. <laughs> yeah? Are we going to have a combination for the prisoner for this? Prisoner? Indian Jaros? Where is it? Where is the Indian Jaros again? Olivius Adams. Olivius <laughs> Adams. I'm a police man. Easy to Elias. Elias. Elias Mad Max. <laughs> where, where, where prisoner? <laughs> <laughs> Take a guess. You're not going to admit me in here. No. Oh, what? <laughs> that hospital is big. <laughs> we don't admit people here. We do We don't tell them. Like, how are they telling you? Overnight. Over many nights, it seems to me. Well, the commander traffic offense is not reasonable. I know my human rights, you know. Well, I admit that the vehicle have some slight defects. Slight but defects? Sit down. That's not a vehicle. That's a public nuisance. No horn, no brakes, no hand brakes, no steering. And you say slight defects? Nothing is perfect. <laughs> Dangerous driving. Careless driving. But I wonder who my car careless doing. I am not careless. Driving an unfit thing. <laughs> you know that man have really attacked this thing too far. You know, so you're really taking your policemanship too far and coming to take liberty with me. 
overloading, body protrusion. Nobody was overloading in the thing. 13 people in a 40 year old angler. 36 year old. Oh. And you don't call that overloading? <laughs> then there's a matter of the body protrusion, which is a very serious offense. That's a lie. Nobody body was protrusing. <laughs> So what happened to the boy in the red ganze that run when we stopped the vehicle? Oh, that one. Well, theme head was taking up about three spears for the school as them could have wall into. So me tell him say must hang out the meadow through the window. So you don't cancel them head for them body. Theme head is more sad for him body. <laughs> well, that take care of all the traffic offenses. Now for the more serious charges. More charges. What else me do? Assaulting an, an officer of the law and resisting arrest. Assault? Me? It's not you when you brought my foot. It's not me cause it officer. When you come to the car and tell me say must get out. And I was opening the door and then the second hinge drop half of the door and the door drop on your foot. It's not my fault. It's the car. Well, since I can't charge the car, you will have to answer for it. <laughs> Officer, I can make it worth your while if you give me a chance. Dark street, man, I don't understand you. I can set you up. You mean like money? Yeah, man. Bribery? <laughs> <laughs> this list really getting long, boy. You have anybody can bail you? Look here, now. I know influential people in high places. It not going to so. If I am wrongfully detained, somebody's going to pay for it. Whoa. That no lie. For the next few days, it's taxpayers that will pay for your meals and lodging. Come, empty your pocket. One chewing gum. One cigarette box with two butts. Half a steel bull and piece of cheese. <laughs> and one dollar ten cent. Yeah, I make you have a ball it out, so. <laughs> Hold on a little. You never see a hundred dollar bill in there. <laughs> you want to make a phone call? Of course. It's my entitlement. I know the law. I am entitled to one phone call. I'm entitled to remain silent. I'm entitled to have anything as a use against me. <laughs> but you know the law goes, man. See the phone there? If I was you, I would have called my lawyer. <laughs> so wait, what? Well, you don't know the lawyer? No. But I uh, am considering which one I should call. We know about this case, you're better. Oh. <laughs> you have a directory? Yes, man. Sita. Relax. I remember the name, but I don't quite remember the address. Look here now. You have a taxi fare I could borrow. <laughs> come back, come. All right, wait, wait, come wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me call the next one. Hello, Mr. Gats. This is Oliver. No, 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 just wait. Yes, I I'm calling from down the police station. No, 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 man. I'm not in any trouble, but I'm going to need bail. <laughs> yes, I, Mr. Gats, listen, man. If you don't go listen, I could explain it to you, you know. 
So we want to talk to the police, fam? No, but I can explain it myself. No, the police can't talk to you now. Of course, he can't talk to me. Why he can't talk to me? Hello, Mr. Gats. Constable Dibbles here, arresting officer. Oh, you're not Mr. Gats. Oh, Gatti. Oliver's granny. <laughs> well, on Gatti. Seem like your grandson will be here with us for a little while, you see? Take care. <laughs> Come, Max. Bedtime. <laughs> Whoever hear from me lie about this. Come, man. Stop in eyes and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> oh, I mean, I know nothing for people. In your new home. They are not. Officer Nibble. Dibble. Officer Nibble. <laughs> you leave me in here with these two seasoned criminals. Between now and a man in them we season you. <laughs> you will feel right at home. No, officer. You can't leave me in here. Dimple. One boss, you don't like the company. Hey, what happened? We're not good enough for you. Hey, yes. So you're going like the first time you're asleep at jail, sir? Like, say, you're an idiot. You bring anything? Like what? Like... Cigarettes. Money. Books. Come on. Coming off, off, off. With the two empty on them. I, I was bringing plenty things, you know. But me no know where you the police constable take them. I was bringing cigarette, book, matches, cake and cheese, well, everything. Well, well, don't make, make it happen again. I promise. Next time I come in, I'm going to bring things soon, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to come in here regular. He, he's like we. Yeah. We're gonna go on for holiday, like Easter, Christmas, and them things. So, what's on the name? Knife. Bullet. What I'm calling you? Mad Max. Where you live? Adams Lane. Oh. <laughs> so, you remember the high flyers passy? No. What are you passing him? Passing, Mr. Bullet? You know no passing? You're you, you staffers. No, me have my passing, Mr. Knife. What a rule. Round of my yard. Which <laughs> here on the country? Not south, east, or west? Central. Move out of this part. What? You're standing in a man's spot. Sorry. <laughs> in my spot. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, excuse me. So where is my spot? <laughs> Your spot? You're bringing a spot here. Yeah? <laughs> no, but I was thinking that since I am in here, uh, if somebody could have lent me a spot that they're not using. <laughs> You come in here with it too long on them. <laughs> We're not even like house warming for your guests. Yeah. And you want a spot for borrow? So, so we arrive when we stay. We are we tell you to steer. In your uh We tell you when to sit and when to stand. When to sleep and when to wake and when to talk. Uh-huh. And, uh, and when fifth is quint. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, please, Mr. Knife, but you, you, you're standing on my foot. <laughs> so, what? No, no, nothing, but me only want you to know that me have a spare foot. You can stand up and get it. You said how to cloud it since you come in. Oh, cloud it. Nice. Introduce him to Cloudy. Button up your shirt. 
Ah, na yap pans. Hello, Claudette. Miss Claudette, for you. Hello, Miss Claudette. Oh, how is everything? You can the, the dance? Not so much. Well, well the, the dance with that. Take care of security. Security? But now in a station we is. Yeah, you know, no, sir. We have to have in internal security. You watch. How we sleep. Alright. Then me sleep I uno watch. No. Afterwards, we sleep. Are you watch again? <laughs> Look here. Is what you not come in here for? A big M. What about you? You have a kill? All the while, all right, me is right. very cruel. Ask the constable. Come full time. Come bullet. Again? What did this we get yesterday? Then not your fault, man. You know, should I have it yesterday? You would have get something different today. Come die. Ah, where is this guy full working, man, 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 belly? Come up. Say your own. Come. Oh, <laughs> Officer, me and beg you to take me out channel. This is cruelty. Cruelty? You talking about cruelty? Hmm? You who killed two and crippled ten in a one year. <laughs> talking about cruelty? He killed, he killed, he killed two? Crippled ten? You know. No, officer. Officer. Is where them come in here from? Oh, then? Hey, they have petty teeth, man. Let me know how they work.
how old the boy that my look I miss her. <laughs> not suicide, not eh? nothing, sir. <laughs> Handsome man. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mad Max. Mad Max. So so Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Mr. Max, sir. Then wait. How you lose your stamina is all of a sudden, so? <laughs> How come you lose your stamina is all of a sudden, so? What happened? For him, stamina is come and go. So, 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 Oh, and you stammer on. <laughs> Move out of my space. You two on a still in my space, you know. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> it no matter. Because no matter what I go inside, I'm not still in my space. So, I'm going to make no wall and put a little space. Yo, go there, sir. Yo, move up there, sir. Want to sound on him again? Anthony Francis. Peter Wilson. Then <laughs> we. All the name sounds are different. Is the ear as them use first, Mr. Mark? Then is the ear as them me want. Is the ear as enough to give me? Bullet. Lad. I don't like those names. So I'm going to change them. The stammer one. Oh yeah. Which one are you stammer again? You don't confuse me, man. <laughs> the stammer man, the stammer one put up your hand. Now, your name going to be changed to stammer. And bullet? As of now, your name is blank shot. Any objections? No, sir. Do so all right, Mr. Max. <laughs> then better. Blank shot. Tidy up my bed. Yes, sir. W which one of them is yours, Mr. Max? The two of them are mine. None are only. The two of them are mine. Stammer, bring your ball, come over here. <laughs> Life funny, don't you? Look how I like going to have me on some serious water pumping and cool and deadly. And Cooper, I don't know. Joe, for that run, Mr. Max, you never mean nothing bad. Well, that teacher, you know. So no must look for a man and assume same self. Who did ever realize that me had it done? <laughs> <laughs> you, you never look so... Shut up! Them two that I killed this morning. I do it with the beer hands. <laughs> Likewise, the ten way I quip her. I finished tied up your bed then, Mr. Max. All right now. Blank shot. Come and massage me toes. What? <laughs> Take off me boot and massage me toes. Yes, sir. This <laughs> one. Look. All right. <laughs> Tama. You have any cigarette? Yes, Mr. Mark. One massage. Yes, sir. Me no smoke. But me only want to know if we don't have cigarette in here. Because as of now, this is a no smoking cell. <laughs> you don't have any good book? You can't have a bunk. And a what? On a Mr. Mark's second bunk.
Where you give me it for? Read it! Me, 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 sir? Yeah, 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 It was December. Please. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me see the book. Then we had. I decided to read it. I'm not a life sentence, you know. By the time you get to the middle, me hold and grip and lose all me hearing. I don't want to go in the corners, man. <laughs> Why, this place is boring. So it stays sometimes, Mr. Max. So when the two of you can't entertain me. We're right. Poetry, Mr. Max. Poetry? Well, make me hear some now. Then we and I could not be hide the poetry them so. See them here, Mr. Max. Says who when read them? The two away. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we write them as a do it. Do it. Me hear about dub poetry, but this duet poetry is new to me. What is a form of dub poetry, Mr. Max? Oh. Dub duet poetry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Blank shot. You read the two part. Stammer. You go with the corners. This is not a poem. This is a black man cry. Cry, cry, cry. <laughs> we cry, you cry. This is not a poem. Actually, no bother. You want to hear some more, Mr. Max? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Nobody with him. Not by me. Olivia's Adams? What is it now, Dimple? <laughs> what you want? Another one dead. <laughs> Another one? I tell them, you know. I tell them, don't fool with Mad Max, you know. <laughs> that the three dogs are chasing you know. Dog. Look here, you know. Hi. And you. Go on and tomorrow and maybe discuss it. Go on. And I understand that one of the poogles is critical. Poogles? Poop, 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 uh, which one of the poogles? Peter Poogles or John Poogles? The calling young boy like you are here. I'm talking about the people them dog will lick down. Officer, to tell you the truth, I was so vexed. I didn't even know say so I licked down them, them dog. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. Is what him in here for? Well, him is in here for dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Dangerous driving. <laughs> among a toast and other traffic offenses. Traffic? Yes, man. Him use a defective vehicle and kill three dog and injure nine. Dog. Look here. I only use the dog them as warm up till now. Well, I will come back and check on the later. Have a little. A little funeral for ten. No, no, Dibble, Dibble, you can't leave me in here. Dibble, don't leave yet. <laughs> so, you don't go back to dog. No, Mr. Bullet. Listen, I use dog in my combat training because I don't want to hurt anybody unnecessary. <laughs> So you is the Don. No, Don Abbas. So you kick your dog. Well, the dog, me am your soap. Come, 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 me, 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 Come, 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 Maxi. Come, 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 fit in him. Come. Olivia oh. <laughs> Saddams? And I hear. Come from another man. I have some news for you. Me, me, me not coming out for another year, so tell you can guarantee me full protection. Come, you know, I want to talk to you, man. Whatever you have to talk to me, Mr. Dibbles, you come, come talk to me, and I hear. 
All right. Bullet and knife. Me. Officer, officer, my entire life is into your hands, you know. Officer, see the boy, them and come there. Don't just stand up there like you're dumb, double. Do something. Oh, no, man, you lick me, no, man, you better lick me. Man, you lick me, I'm broken, you know. No! If you lick him, you're going to get no trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Seems like him knows some important people. Him? Him? Uh, me? It's a good way to decide to drop all the charges. Well, t t tell him, say, we are your f f friend. See, 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 Hey, Dola. Yes, man, come. Away with the key? Yes, come, man. Wait a little bit. Hey, you're too like a thief in, boy. From as soon as you come in, I don't know how to thief, you know. But watch me on the man. You see if I don't come out here and come on my lane, me damn it. Come on, man. Wait, man. Make it come with him. Make it come with him, man. You see? Let me have him. You think me is in a bad way? Let me have him.